Randy Rain here, and I have another Tomy game. This is Space Turbo. I have two different versions of it. They're the same thing, just different colors. This one is missing the handle here, and this one just doesn't work. The uh, battery compartment is not too shabby on this one, and on this one... Not too shabby on that one either. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get this one going and making a new handle. Maybe not this time, maybe later. This may just be a parts one, but I'm definitely going to get this one going. I have no idea about this game. I've never played this one before. Anyway, let's open it up and see what amazing thing Tommy has done this time. Let's get started. Yeah, there's also a little bezel that kind of comes over this, a little shade thing, and I'm missing it on both of those. But first, let's have a look at this thing. There's a, a handle that moves back and forth, some gear shifting here, an on and off type of thing, a reset. I can see that this one's broken. You know, I've never put batteries in this one. Takes four big boys here. Uh, I bet there's some gears that are broken in there. What do you think? That's going to be my guess. Some broken gears. But the big mystery is, is it going to be a 10 tooth, maybe an 8 tooth, or the rare 9 tooth maybe? Or is it some big one, some strange one that you don't see very often? Oh, the mystery that lies within the space turbo. Anyway, there are screws here. And I can see with my broken one here that it's really maybe not broken. It's just missing. That part looks broken, but I believe this needs to come apart. Otherwise, you're going to mess something up. People always ask me how I get these things back together. I take an ass load of pictures. Every direction, everywhere. And when you think you've taken enough, take more. Trust me. Because often you'll find a picture and what you need is just barely out of range. If you'd have just taken one more, just moved over just a bit you would have had it. Alright, so here's what you're looking at. This thing moves this arms and there's a light in there and it's moving this back and forth. And the button, when you push the button, you got a little pokey dude here and it's going to hit this cone which is going to hit this lever right here. And that's for firing. Then you have your gear shaft here. So here's my guess on how this thing works. Is this is just moving a light back and forth, and as this spins, it looks like you can, I don't know, either target it or you're moving through it. I don't, I'm not sure what that's supposed to represent looking like, but so when you push this, I'm guessing it's going to trigger what I was calling satellite gears. And someone in the comments said planetary gears and I guess yes that that's a little better I guess that does make more sense but satellites orbit so what how about we just call them orbit gears okay so it's gonna trigger an orbiting gear 
And then over here on the side here, you got this little gear system. So this thing is going to probably rotate, I'm guessing. And this is probably your firing. And so as it rotates, maybe it looks like it's traveling. And so that's what the little orbiting gear is going to activate. And then once it gets done, it's something's going to trigger it and make it flip back. And then this is just going to have a little gear system where you, transmission, where you're changing gears on the motor, which is spinning this thing faster or slower. So that's my guess. And then also there's just going to be a, a, a counter of some sort. Something's going to trigger. That's what all these little springy things are for. Not a big fan of springs. But yeah, I guess that's your how many whatever things you're supposed to hit, hit. Hitting the reset is doing that. And that's resetting the counter. But where to start on this one? This one's a tough one. A lot of springs. First of all, this just comes out. So you have your notches down here that are notching on this thing. And you're moving this arm back and forth, which is, gets caught up. And this thing, I can see there's like a little partial gear, and this little guy pops out. And I can see how it fits and moves. Right there. It comes out right there. Then there's a springy thing over here. This. Uh, it's centering it. Okay, so you got this. That goes over right there. This is pretty simple. We got two connections here. Let's see if I can get this off without it flying across the room. I don't know which one. I want to take it off this one. Gotcha. Ah, so that's a unit. Didn't have to take that spring off. Okay. Well, that's nice. Oh, uh, I got a power bar here. Okay. That's from this guy right here, it looks like. Alright, so this little lever right here is moving this guy back and forth. For your counter. Reset. And then this, this power thingy here, is this guy. You can see here, this is when you push the fire button. You're pushing right there. I wonder if I can get this whole unit out some way. Oh yeah, see so they even put a little notch right here. So you can undo that screw. Those Tomy people knew what they were doing. Alright, it's time to desolder. Back here, though. So here's what a space turbo is. Doom, 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 doom. Well, this little gear will pop out. Uh oh. Go ahead and see that. Have a look underneath here. Look at all that. Looks like there's the motor. And there's the gear. That's the tin tooth. And I can see it's split already. You have here. Very interesting. This is a rubber gear. Someone forcibly stops something in here 
it's just gonna go dunk 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 and bump on these gears. But as long as everything's running fine, it'll turn. This over here is obviously a noisemaker. This is the gear shift. We're moving a, a brass pin. Okay, that's a new one. Um, that's a new one on me. This thing is long. It's moving a light inside there. But there's something else underneath that it's moving. And I can't see what activates any of this stuff, so I'm guessing it's inside. So I think that's the next thing that should come off. Hmm, hmm. Got some gears. It's not a broken tooth. It's meant to be missing, so that's important. See the little light here. I'm not sure what's going on with I me. Mean, this obviously moves back and forth and this spring wants to pull it this way. I'm not sure what that spring does. And this piece here is moving that counter. And so it obviously needs to come off. Yeah, so that allows me to take this off, maybe. You can see it's Something goes on to something down there. All right. I see a spinning doodad down there that with the peg, so that would have to straddle that peg. And as that spins around, that activates the counter. And I guess whatever that was connected to. Something to do with the laser shooting. Aha! It does come out. Mmm, got a little catchy thing here. I see orbiting gears. You see something like this, you know there's orbiting gears in there. Yeah, look what happens when I push the thing for the button. That's what happens when the button gets pushed. Mm, just as I predicted. Ooh. Oh, that's an army thing. Look there. Or when that little bump hits that little thing, that happens. Alright, I'm pretty sure I don't have to take all of this apart here. Because there's this springy thing here. You've got to pry these clips off here. I mean, I can see how it works, and it works fine. There's nothing wrong with any of that stuff. I really just needed the gearbox, and I think... I can drop this gearbox without doing all that. I'll get into this one. This is the only tough one. Now, there's one screw here, but I'm not sure that's needed because it's feeling very loose. And this is the gear that I thought was too far down. It sure slides real easy. It's not cracked, but it's on its way to being cracked. Or it's probably just slipping on the shaft. Let's go on to these things. They have, oh, they're on springs, but they're on springs with each other. And they'll actually slide right out. This fell off, so that fits in there. Like that. Okay, I still haven't figured out what this piece of metal here is doing. All of this. But it's uh, time to open this up. First I want to point out that metal thing is a noise maker. So the grinding noise. It's got this little brass little tooth thing grinding onto it. First things first, we got a motor with a split gear. 
That'll work. All right, so here's what we have. We have a little motor. It had that broken gear that's been replaced. It's turning that rubber gear down there that I showed you earlier. It's connected to this shaft. And there's a gear here that turns this gear. That gear turns this gear. This gear is a crown gear which is now turning this gear. And this one's hooked to this entire shaft right here. And I can see it's cracked. And this big long gear, it is cracked as well. Split as they say. And that's why it pulls right off. And the thing is, that's just a long ten tooth gear with a bigger hole. And this one, it's just a ten tooth gear as well. That gear is fine. Now I'm hoping I can do that a bunch of times and line them up and make me a big long gear. Okay, I think that's enough gears. Just missing a little bit. I can always put another one, but it's not perfect, but I don't think it's going to have a problem because it's this gear rides up and down on those as it goes to each one of these. And I can see when I go all the way here, I can't even get to the gear I need to get to because this one is split. So that's a 14 tooth gear just missing most of its gear. That's a regular 14 tooth gear with the smaller hole. So we've got to turn that into that. Alright, so there's my gear. Pretty sure that's where that goes. So just like that. So this same shaft is also going this way. It's going to this gear, which is turning this crown gear, which has this orbiting gear on it right here. And we've got an arm right here. Oh, there's a spring down here. Okay, so spring probably to it here. So it stopped here. So it's traveling here. The orbiting gear is st stopped here. It's now turning these two. These are two different gears. It's going against that spring on this thing until it clicks, which pushes this away, which allows it to go. And then it would be getting here, stopping on this one. And there must be something of it not doing anything. So there's one that stops it to not doing anything. That's probably when the just going. And then you push the button. It's going to go maybe to here. So it's going to go to this side. <laughs> now that orbiting gear is turning this which is also turning this noisemaker. It's going down here to this. Now, this is where this gear comes in, sitting in there. So I gotta make sure this thing gets put back in there. I'm also going to go ahead and reinstall these. So. so yeah, there's this piece. It's going to be there. And that gets activated when the shooting. So when this one moves, it drops down and stops here until the little peg pushes it. And this thing's spinning enough to make this move just that much. And this gets a spring connected to it. And so now I think this can go back on. 
which locks that one in just like that. Okay, so now a little spring gets hooked on. Okay, here's how it works. So here's your gear shifting here, okay? And it's moving this out. So now, when it all the way to zero, that's holding this out so that this can't move back. And that moves back only when this is turning and these little notches right here happen to hit one of these pegs down here that is connected to the arm here that moves back and forth. If it does hit, it pushes it. And you can see right here where is it? How it moves this. So as you turn it on, it's going to be spinning and it's going to be stopping right here. And that's going to put the gear, that little orbiting gear, into position that does nothing. Depending on what gear you have this in, is how fast you're going to be going. If you hit those bumps while it's still stuck here, Nothing's happening. No change. But, if you fire, which you push this away, that allows it to move to the next one, which is this one, and that's going to activate this, which is going to work the light thing, because it's going to turn here, push this, because if you remember, it's turning down here, and eventually that little peg will make it lift up, and this will pop back into place and the thing will swing around and as that orbiting gear swings around if you happen to be in the bumping where this is pushed it's only going to be for a second so it's only as long as these things are so it's only going to be doing that if you happen to be in that spot as it comes around that orbiting gear is going to be stopped by this thing and you're going to get that grinding sound and it's going to activate all this stuff over here. Because now that orbiting gear is now turning all of this stuff. Okay, here's what this piece is. That second gear system the one right past the rubber gear is actually that shaft right down there. And it's on a spring. And when you push this down, it kills everything. All the gear system just stops because that's second in line. So nothing past that one is doing anything that shuts down this, all that. And that's what this is. This is the timer, basically. So as it goes in like this, as it's going and go on you're fine and then eventually when it comes to the end it starts pushing up and it pushes onto that gear and just killed the whole system so now you're supposed to turn it off or hit the reset button or whatnot okay so there's like a double tooth here mm -hmm. and then there's a notch where it goes to that's a double tooth so it has to fit in there same thing here. There's a tooth missing and there's a double tooth, so that has to line up like that. And then I put this pin through all this. So yeah, you can see it just flip the little light down in there whenever you're just shooting but then when you hit this guy starts flopping up and down and it's only going to stay as long as that's pushed over and that just it just depends on how big that notch is so that notch is what's pushing that over this can be dropped in now and so when you reset it pushing that down brings it back. That's why that gear goes down. 
Okay, so basically I have to make it fire and try to hit every time it's at the same time it's moving that. And that's not easy. I have nothing to go by here. Let's put this counter back on. These little notches have to fit into that little thing right in there. That gear gets put in, goes on there. So we should be full of energy right now. So we'll go in just like that. So yeah, I think this handle can just snap in there. I think it's what it's supposed to do. Because all it is, is you have a white piece here. You have this red piece here that has a spring, and that's the button you push. And on the other side is another one of these. And then this should be able to just pop in, just like so. So there you have it, Space Turbo. It's working. Now I'm not going to try to make the little bevel shade cover there. And it's the same reason is I didn't use this one for spare parts. In this handle here, there's technically only four pieces. One side of the handle, the other side of the handle, the red piece, and the two white pieces, which are the same. So that's only four molds. I could make a handle and it would just pop right into here where this one's missing. So if I could do that, I could probably find a bezel. Now, do you have one of these and it's not really working, but you have one of the little shade bezels? Well, then you need to contact me and I will fix it and I will make a copy of the shade bezel get this working and it'll be a whole new fun little video but do you want to see this working and it doesn't stop this one from working you can still play it and you can still see it on camera check it out space turbo in there that when that little piece flops down it's actually just moving out of the way of the red light and that's the blast and any other time you see the light flash through that little piece so it looks like the laser beams that shot out it's a pretty neat little thing I thought it was fun not that really bad it's scary to go inside and work on it looks a lot worse than it is 
Anyway, if you enjoyed this video, I sure would appreciate a like. I want to thank these people right here. These are Patreons. These are people helping me out. Couldn't show you how to do stuff like this if it wasn't for them. If you want to help out, there is a link. There are perks, so please, if you're interested, check it out. Anyway, I'll see you in the next video, I guess. Space Turbo. Space Turbo, the game that is a blast. Can you last? It goes so fast. Space Turbo.